think it's important um, for people when they're looking for a coach to look for someone that you know is going to be a good fit for them. You know, and, and um, you know, I have certain areas that I may specialize in, and, and other coaches have areas that they're going to specialize in. So I think it's important to interview various coaches um, to find someone that's going to work for you. The way that I coach people is, um, you know, I, I've learned a lot of my coaching experience comes from my own experience. Um, I can tell people, you know, you can look in a book and say what's going to be perfect nutrition for an Ironman, but um, truthfully, that's not going to work for everybody. So with, with me, I've had a lot of experience doing various Ironmen, so I can say, you know, this is an, an option, this is an option, and I think through experience, um, that has helped me, you know, as a coach, and experience through years of coaching a variety of people, um, because I've coached, you know, every distance, and um, each individual that I coach, I learn something from. So I think that um, my athletes that I coach help me grow as a coach and become a better coach. So um, learning from my athletes is important and learning from my own experiences on what to do and what not to do is important. So uh, finding the right coach, the right fit for you uh, is just a matter of interviewing and, and being you know, familiar with what their specialties are. As far as my training philosophy goes, I, um, I think that every individual is different. So I think you have to be, you, you have to tailor their training based on that person. Um, what is going to work for one person may not work at all for another person. So um, that's kind of how I look at it. And I look at it from experience of, you know, coaching people, what has worked for people in the past through my years of coaching and my experience on what I have done. I think uh, a lot of my training philosophy comes from um, experience. And then I've taken bits and pieces from many other um, training philosophies and I've kind of incorporated that into uh, my coaching. When I think about who has had a, an impact on me, um, it's, it's hard to say. I think the, the one thing I can, can say is my clients who I've coached, has had, they have had the biggest impact on me because um, I race and I compete a little bit for myself, but I do it a little bit for my clients too because um, you know, I, they, they need, they look up to me and they want to see, you know, want to see a coach that's out there doing it. And, um, that really drives me. I mean, so my client base drives me. Um, I've been to a lot of seminars and, and a lot of, you know, coaching symposiums and I always learn from those and, and those great coaches, you know, always, you can always take advice from them, you know, so, I mean, there's so many great coaches out there that um, I have taken bits and pieces from, um, but ultimately, I think my clients are the main thing that really motivates me. Um, when I have, when it's race day for a client of mine, um, I'm probably just as nervous as they are, <laughs> so um, every time I have a client that is suddenly an Ironman, that's a huge, you know, I mean, that, every first Ironman client I've coached is uh, you know that's a, a big thing and that, that that's emotional for not only them but for me too so yeah